Hello, this is Rosa with Diodora from RCG Creations. How are you? Um, bringing today another collaboration here. Oh, it's not really a collaboration. It's just I had six uh, birthday cards to get out for a swap, and I um, wanted to, you know, I wanted to use stuff that was already in my stash, not go out and buy anything brand new because I've got such a big inventory. I have a 15 by 22 uh, craft room. And um, it's really pretty full. I cannot get really hardly anything more in it. So I'm going to just, this whole year for 2020, I'm going to try not to buy any more. Nothing new, of course, except for the replenishable stuff like paper, ink, wipe, uh, wipes to do your inks, you know, some, uh, replaceable items, things that wear out and go on. But I'm going to try not to buy any more new tools like dies and stamps. Unless it's something that's really, really cute and I really enjoy. But I've noticed as I've been cataloging, I've been doing it for about three weeks. That's why I haven't done any uh, videos in the past two weeks. Is because I've been cataloging everything and kind of rearranging and organizing my craft room now that I'm doing YouTube videos. And I've noticed there's a lot of themes that I hardly have anything of, like Get Well Stamps, Get Well Dies. I don't really hardly have maybe like only like one or two and they're little bitty little small stamps that are already in, in a kit with another project um, like uh, I'm talking something like this and then one of, only one of them says like get well on it. That's what I'm talking about. Stuff like that. And it's like oh okay and those items are kind of hard to catalog because I'm a visual person so if I don't see it I don't use it. And so I have to have everything in sight. So I've been fortunate enough, and I was very lucky. I have a wonderful husband that has um, redid some stuff, got me some shelving. Um, I'm doing catalog organizing, um, such as putting everything in baskets like this. And I'm just getting these from the, uh, the Dollar General store. And then I've made my little labels. So like this one is nothing but birthday. This whole thing is nothing but birthday on this first half. And then I've, I've subcategorized it like with dies. This one is uh, birthday dies, just birthday dies. This one here is birthday stamps. And then I did another, did another category, birthday dies, stamps, and stencils. So those that come in a kit, the whole thing together. Like this one is uh, just a birthday die. This really should be in this category here of just birthday dies. Yeah, here, birthday dies right up here. That's where this should go. And stuff that way I already know what I have. And then I'm do I do it everything by theme. And uh, back here in the back I've got um because I'm doing it I'm a I have a lot of bad OCD, so <laughs> I'm doing everything in alpha order because everything has to be in alpha because it's easier for me just to go straight to it and know what that is. So this particular uh, little um, basket is birthdays. It's all in the purple. Then it's got children, little girls, little boys, and then my diamond press stuff. I don't have too much of a collection of that. I would love to get some more of that because I love my little diamond press machine. And it's an embosser and a die cutter. And in fact, I'll show it to you right here. Because I have this. All my little tools that I have gotten throughout the years that I just don't use again because it's out of sight, out of mind. I don't use it. I've rearranged everything. So I have a little, like a little lazy, three tier lazy Susan I got from Michaels many, many years ago. And I just rearranged it. And I'm only, I'm going to be putting stuff on there that tools that I know I need to use that I want to use since I purchased them. And here is my little uh, diamond press. I got that from Crafter's Companion. And um, I love it because it's small. This is great to take to crops. And when I just want to do something simple on a die, it works really well. And I've got that right here on my desk. But anyway, to get back to this. So what I've done here is I've done some cards. And I just want to show you some things. I had just done this in another video. So this is just a birthday stamp. And I just lost where I had the stamp and the grunge. And then I dis distressed the edges only of the front. I didn't do the whole thing. I only did it of the front. And then I just inked the edges just ever so slightly uh, where the, I had uh, grunge um, distressed it 
with my uh, Stamping Up Distress Tool. Uh, okay. And then I did it all in purple and I used the Brilliance uh, Pearlescent uh, Dew Drop inks. So there's that. And I did the same thing. So the whole thing is just purple. And then my next card was this Happy Birthday card. And all I did was just cut cardstock. And this is uh, clear white, excuse me, white cardstock. And I inked it, I stenciled it with the stencil here, which is from Echo Park. And it's a 6x6 six six stencil. So I stenciled that. So I made my own background. And then I cut out the little herpy, happy birthday out of yellow. I wanted a neutral, something that would go together with everything. And uh, so I used this dye. This I got many, many years ago. I couldn't even tell you where I got it from. Um, I think it was a mail order site that I had gotten this from. Or one of those um, wholesalers on Facebook. I've got a couple of them that I, I order from, from time to time. And then, uh, but I love the dye. It's really nice and it's pretty. It's musical and stuff and then on the inside I stamped it and I've had this for years and it's called Simple Circles it's um, a, this is the birthday Simple Circles Ar the artist is Carolyn Jones and this is um, the packaging that I was, I was able to save from it but this is from Art Gone Wild's clear stamp set so I'm going to let that, hopefully you can see that. If you want to get on their website, I'm going to be honest with you, I haven't gone on their website in quite a while, uh, at least been two years. So I don't really know what all they do or don't have. But here's a list of all the other stuff that they do have. Stuff like this is what I like to hang on to because, you know, I may get into the mood. I want to have certain things that I want to keep track of. And here's the more of the stuff that they have on their website. And stuff. Um, well, I don't know for sure if it's on their website. I do know it, it was stuff they used to sell. So hopefully they're still in business. I really don't know. But I've had this for quite some time. But I, you know, I catch find myself not using this stamp very often. I don't know why. It's really a cute stamp. Uh, let me take the backing off of this so you can see it better compared to the white. And see, there's the whole thing. And you can do it one, two, three. It's four layers, and it's all nice in a circle. But it's kind of cute, you know. It's a cute little stamp uh, to be used, you know, for grown-up, child, whatever. Because it's fun. And I'm thinking this would be a fun card to do as a spinner card. And I might be doing that sometime very shortly, and I'll show a video on that if I do. I probably will. I just don't know when I'll be doing it. But there's the stamp. And I do use my Stamparatus, uh, so that way if I don't get a good impression, because if you see here, this one's dark, but this one right here didn't get as dark as the rest of this, so that way I can do go over and over, and I didn't do this on purpose because I wanted to show you, instead of sometimes when you have a stamping tool, like a Stamparatus, Tim Holtz has one, the Misty, uh, there's all kinds out there, you know, just try if you can get yourself one because it's really a, that definitely is something that's worth your money and um, that way if you don't get a good impression you can re-ink it again and then do it again and then you get a solid firm inking over the whole thing and then this one here I didn't do my Stamparettis on the center part I put it away and I go oh, you know what put the cake in there and I totally forgot and I just hand stamped it with my clear acrylic block like this right here and I wasn't didn't get enough impression on this corner so I just used my blue my black sharpie and fixed it and you know you really can't see that much at all it was right here that this whole part didn't in, in pre, uh, ink so I just did it manually and did it by hand and it looks fine you can't really tell that I messed it up but I did so there's things that you can do with that here on this one this is um, also made with uh, Echo Park 6x6 six stencils. These are the uh, balloons. And then I use this die. Now, I'm pretty sure this is Anna Griffin. I could be wrong, but I think this is earlier in um, many, many years ago I, where I did not used to keep the manufacturer packaging with the product. 
so I don't know who made it, which now I do. So that way, uh, especially since I'm on YouTube now, is I like to be able to let you know where I got this from. So this way, if you like it, you can order one yourself. But I love that. Isn't it a great font? And it just says, Happy Birthday. And I had inked uh, the stencils, uh, the ink, and I just used my um, oxide. Excuse me, my Distress pen, not the Oxides, I used the Distress inks because I wanted a nice soft look. I didn't want anything harsh. So I did that and then I just um, cut out the Happy Birthday, stuck it on top. And then on the center I just got another stamp and I wanted it to be a little bit different. So I did the gold and then the gold etching and then I used a white gel pen to color the inside of the word Celebrate. And then there's that card. This one, all I did was just get my 12x12 12 12 paper, and this is from the Paper Studio. Okay, and every time there's a sale, and Hobby Lobby, Michaels, and all that, they're always having sales, and right now they're having great sales on this 12x12 12 12 paper. They're the individual. I always just grab as much as I can, especially like on birthdays, you can never have too many birthday pa too much birthday paper. And all I did was just cut this down to fit, and then I added some little... Um, uh, this is just called it's not really a chipboard but it's kind of it's made out of cardboard and these are just they're not really stickers because they're just pieces of cardboard I'm not exactly sure what you call it but uh, I had just gotten these who knows where it was just somewhere I don't know where to what store I got these from but they're all birthday messages so I just attached that on top uh, cut my 12 by 12 paper to fit my cardstock that's my card front and then I just used some stickers that I have in my stash to make it different. And then there's a birthday card. Nice and quick and simple. And you don't have to go through too much fuss and it's not very expensive. And here's the same thing with that same um, the candles cardstock. And these are both from the same. In fact, I bought them both at the same time. Because again, like I said, birthday cards and birthday paper, you can always use. And this is just paper. And then there's those little... Um, I don't think you call I I don't think you call these die cuts. I don't know, because they're made out of it's it's heavy cardstock, more like cardboard, but heavy cardstock, and it's already done. So and then I just got some stickers, and you know, there's another thing is you don't have to always go formal, go crooked, do things on purpose. Like I love to do stuff like this, and then here's the birthday message, you know, make it make it fun, make let, let the recipient have some fun with it. And do things that are off a little bit. Like here on this card, I did it. Here's the whole. I didn't want to take away from the the card front, so, but uh, you know I wanted it under no congratulations. And then the same thing. Here's the sticker, and then here's that uh, cardboard that I just stuck on there. And this one I just made nice and straight and simple and stuff. But I did a card this way instead of it going this way. You know that's what's kind of fun. And you see the sizes on these cards. They're not exactly, they're off just a little bit, uh, but you use what you've got. I've gotten some pre-made, uh, pre-ordered uh, envelopes from um, Current. They have uh, all kinds of ca card, excuse me, all kinds of envelopes that you can order. And I'm just, you know, I'm just using what I have already in my in my stash. Use that up. Once that's out, I'll order some more. Or I even, I love to make my own cards. So, and I usually make my own cards with the same paper as a theme as the card or something that coordinates with it but again you know you do what you have you use what you have and don't worry about it I thank you so much for watching please hit like and subscribe if you're not already a member a subscriber and definitely share this out and place a comment in the comments below and I thank you so much for watching and you have a wonderful day thank you